Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a personal collaboration peripheral, of course certified for Microsoft Teams as well as Zoom. This is a video conferencing peripheral. We're taking a look at the Poly Studio P5 webcam. The P5 webcam is a 1080p camera. We're going to be unboxing the P5, taking a look at all the contents, getting a close-up look at the P5 itself. We'll talk about the features and capabilities. We'll take a quick look at how to manage it using the Poly Lens application. And finally, we'll demo recording our video through the P5 at the end of the video. Let's dig in. All right, cracking the lid on our box. Right up top, we see the P5 webcam sitting in the box itself. Up top, we've got a little bit of this added padding here, cardboard padding to make sure there's a layer between the top of the box lid and the device itself, the contents of the box. Pulling the P5 out, we've got it in a plastic wrapping here, and it is connected to the USB-A cord already ready to go. And as we pull all the cardboard filler out from the inside and lift this last piece up, we've got our documentation sitting right at the bottom of the box here. We've got the quick start guide up top, and then we've also got, uh, you know, the, the standard warranties and compliances and all the other fun stuff that come with your electronic devices. Pulling the quick start guide open, it's pretty short and to the point. We've got two steps here. The first one being connecting the device to your laptop via that USB-A port. The second step being adjusting the tilt on the hinge to make sure you get the camera at the correct angle. Uh, you want to make sure you're getting that directional mic lined up as well. So uh, that would be step two. <clears throat> Finally, right up at the top, we've got the software PolyLens. You can download that over at poly.com slash lens. Having removed the P5 from the plastic wrapping that it comes in, we've got a little bit of extra protection over the lens. We grab that tab and just gently pull it right off. Coming in for a close-up look, this is a 1080p camera. It's got an 80-degree diagonal field of view with an electronic PTZ capabilities built in via the PolyLens app. It also has a directional mic, making sure that just the speaker is heard and not peripheral noise in the room. The P5 actually positions facing this direction here. You've got that Poly logo right at the front, indicating this is the front of the device, the lip that sits over the edge of a monitor. We have the back of the hinge with a rubber grip. This keeps the device from sliding around as it is positioned against the back of your monitor or laptop screen. The lip up top also has that rubber grip, which prevents it from sliding around on the front of the monitor or laptop screen. Another handy feature that I want to call attention to is the physical built-in privacy shutter right on the front of the camera. There is this plastic rim that goes around the lens, and like the other P-series cameras that we've seen as of late, this allows you to just twist that plastic lens, and it will engage a physical barrier preventing the camera from being utilized. So there you go, right there, red color in the middle, opening it back up is just a simple twist and you can feel it kind of click into place. And with that brief tour of the device, we will go ahead and get it plugged in, manage it with the PolyLens software and do a brief recording demo. Now with the P5 plugged in to the laptop, we can see the little LED at the very top indicates it is powered on. And so we know we are now in business, ready to manage it with PolyLens and use it in a meeting. Just like we demonstrated in the uh, earlier portion of the video, this will sit right on the very front edge of a monitor or laptop. You can adjust the tilt to make sure that you've got the right angle. And then of course it swivels as well so that you can uh, aim it off to the side a little bit. Maybe your monitor doesn't directly face where you sit for your meetings so you can adjust the proper direction. Okay, coming on over to the PolyLens software, we saw that uh, the, there was a link for that in our little quick start guide when we were unboxing. We've got PolyLens open and you can see right off the bat, we had a little um, notification pop up in the bottom right hand corner here, but we see our Studio P5 is plugged in, it's active. Uh, we have a notification here and that is that an update is available for the Studio P5. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say update now. It's gonna take a few minutes to complete, so don't disconnect the device during the update process, sure thing. We'll let it download the software update, apply the software update, 
and then we'll take a look at uh, the device's settings in the PolyLens app. And that was pretty short and sweet, actually. We saw the LED light of the P5 blinking during the update process. We'll say done, and we'll click on the P5. We can see we're connected. We can see what our software is. We're now updated to the latest, so that's great. Coming over to the controls, if we say show right here, we can get a quick look at, uh, at the camera's angle as it is seen right now where it sits on the monitor. Uh, again, this is a 1080p camera with e uh, electronic PTZ capabilities and an 80 degree diagonal field of view. So if we go ahead and say zoom in, we can use the physical zoom in here. We can use the directional buttons for our uh, zooming. All right, so we can set it to how we want to set it, uh, or we can just bring it all the way back out and leave it at its defaults. We can expand it out if we want a bigger view while we're working with it. And then there, of course, are your favorites, right? You've got several different presets you can work with here um, if you want different angles or different PTZ preset uh, uh, directions or, you know, you, you get the point. Uh, you can control your brightness, your contrast, the color temperature, so cool or warm. We got all these different things here that you should know what you're doing if you're messing with these settings on a camera, and I do not, so I'm not going to mess with these settings. But lots here that can be worked with. So we'll leave all those alone. Those are your camera controls. Coming on over to the settings, we've got general and then reset device. <clears throat> on the general side, you have your anti-flicker setting. There's 50 hertz or 60. It's at uh, 60 by default. You can change it if you want. And then we can reset the device to its defaults. Finally, there's a support page, quick start guide, user guide, all the helpful information you would need for getting started with it. And with that brief tour and updating of the firmware, let's jump into actually using the P5 in a Microsoft Teams call and then just a blank plain recording, no Teams meeting, using both the camera and the directional microphone of the P5. All right, we're in Microsoft Teams. We're gonna click Meet Now in our calendar. We'll say Start a Meeting. But this is just gonna be a single person meeting. We don't need to uh, demo the camera with uh, usage of the camera without with, with other people in the call. So you can see right now we've already got our camera enabled. Now, if I click on our device settings and we go to video settings, we see that it is the Poly Studio P5 webcam. So that is our webcam angle right there. Uh, you can see in the, on the background there, we've got the, the P21 off to the side, the X30 in the background. So we've got a little bit more poly love happening in the background here. Um, and we look up at our audio and we can see that we have a custom setup because we have a microphone on our P5, but there aren't speakers on it. So you need to choose something else for your speakers, whether they're the built-in speakers, which is definitely not certified, or a Sync 20, Sync 40, something like that. Um, and then for the microphone, we can actually come down and select the P5 webcam. So that will actually let us use the webcam uh, for our microphone and our video at the same time. So with our devices selected, we'll go ahead and say join now, and the meeting will launch. We'll go ahead and say, yeah, we don't need this meeting join URL stuff, but there you go. The P5 webcam in a Microsoft Teams meeting. We've also selected the, uh, the, the microphone in there. Now, if I twist the um, privacy shutter, you can see that while that's not integrated to turn off the camera in the controls in the Teams client, it definitely gives us privacy and turns off camera uh, for the meeting. Keep in mind, we are not muted, so all this does is prevents our video from being seen. Uh, it's kind of akin to putting up a piece of paper in front of the webcam or putting a little physical shutter over it, because that's exactly what it is. So we re-enable the camera. We're, we're back in business with our meeting here. Uh, you do have the swivel capability, so maybe you're in a meeting and you need to adjust the direction manually really quick. You don't have to go and pull the camera off of the uh monitor and do a bunch of physical adjustments you just kind of swivel it to the right position uh, so there you go p5 in a microsoft teams meeting and for a final demo here i am going to ramble for a few moments as we are recording the camera angle is coming directly from the p5 the audio you hear is me speaking into the p5 this is the p5 microphone 
previously where we were using the Yeti microphone in our other desktop recording. Now we're recording audio through the P5 mic. You got that 1080p video coming in. So keep in mind, this video is being recorded as a 4K video. I've stretched out the image to fit the screen, but it is 1080p quality. So there you go, brief demos on Microsoft Teams usage as it is a team certified device and a demo of actually recording 1080p video and spoken audio through the P5. And there it is, the P5 from Poly, personal webcam, 1080p certified from Microsoft Teams and Zoom. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are not already subscribed. And of course, turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I come out with another device overview video. If this was helpful, grab that link, share it all over your social medias. If it wasn't helpful, still share it, but just save the commentary. Thanks again for watching, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.